Lesson 64. Contraction of would. Contract. What's the contraction of I would? The contraction of I would is I'd. What are the contractions of you would, he would, she would, etc.? The contractions of you would, he would, she would, etc. are you'd, he'd, she'd, it'd, we'd, you'd, they'd. If you went to the cinema this evening, which film would you see? If I went to the cinema this evening, I'd see The Artist. If I were you, which language would I speak? If you were me, you'd speak Italian. If a plant had no water, would it die? Yes, if a plant had no water, it'd die. Contraction of wood with other words. What's the contraction of book wood? The contraction of book wood is bookered. Lesson wood. Who wood? What wood? Which wood? Lessoned, who'd, whated, witched. If you were a king, what would your wife be called? If I were a king, my wife would be called a queen. If you lost your way in a large city, who would you ask? If I lost my way in a large city, I'd ask a policeman. If today were Sunday, what would tomorrow be? If today were Sunday, tomorrow would be Monday. Sandwich. Cheese. When office workers are too busy to leave their desks for lunch, do they often just have a quick sandwich? Yes, when office workers are too busy to leave their desks for lunch, they often just have a quick sandwich. What kind of things do we put in sandwiches? We put meat, cheese, egg, etc. in sandwiches. Fault. Faultless. Faulty. Fix. What's your biggest fault? My biggest fault is that I get angry easily. If your computer was faulty, would you know how to fix the fault? No, if my computer was faulty, I wouldn't know how to fix the fault. Are your dictations usually faultless? No, my dictations aren't usually faultless. They usually contain mistakes. If a student makes a mistake in his dictation, is it usually his fault or the teacher's fault? If a student makes a mistake in his dictation, it's usually his fault, but it could sometimes be the teacher's fault. OK. All right. What can we say instead of OK? Instead of OK, we can say all right. Compare. Comparison. Have something in common. Can we compare Michelangelo with Napoleon? No, we can't compare Michelangelo with Napoleon. Why not? Because they were two completely different kinds of people who did different things from each other. What must two people or things have if we want to make a comparison between them? If we want to make a comparison between two people or things, they must have something in common. Ice. Cool. What do we use ice for? We use ice for putting in drinks to cool them, etc. Pour. What am I doing? You're pouring some water from a bottle into a glass. Unite. Do you think that all the countries of the world will unite one day? No, I don't think that all the countries of the world will unite one day. Even. Surprising. Give me a sentence with even in it. She speaks Russian, German, French, and even Chinese. He was very impolite. He didn't even say hello. It's very simple. Even a child could understand it. Mix. Mixture. Pink. Do we generally mix sugar with potatoes? No, we don't generally mix sugar with potatoes. Do you think a mixture of tea and coffee would make a pleasant drink? No, I don't think a mixture of tea and coffee would make a pleasant drink. It would make an unpleasant drink. If you mixed some red and white paint together, 
What would you get? If I mix some red and white paint together, I'd get pink paint. Care. Care for. Take care of. Who cared for you when you were a child? My mother cared for me when I was a child. Do you think the young should take care of the old? Yes, I think the young should take care of the old. Do you take good care of your health? Yes, I take good care of my health. Do you care what people think or say about you? Yes, I care what people think or say about me. Appointment. Keep an appointment. Hurry. Take your time. If you were late for a very important appointment, would you take your time? No. If I were late for a very important appointment, I wouldn't take my time. I'd hurry. Why? Because it's important to keep appointments that we've made. Why is it sometimes a bad thing to hurry? It's sometimes a bad thing to hurry because we often make mistakes when we hurry. Would you take your time going home if somebody told you your house was on fire? No, I wouldn't take my time going home if somebody told me my house was on fire. I'd hurry. Plenty of. What do the words "plenty of" mean? The words "plenty of" mean more than enough. Do people hurry when they have plenty of time? No, people don't hurry when they have plenty of time. They take their time. What's the opposite of plenty of water? The opposite of plenty of water is little water or not enough water.